gents, welcome back to the Scott Barnes Show. Hope you had a great Christmas. We've got New Year's right around the corner. Now, it's one thing to have a great, giant, glorious beard, but there are some things that we have to do to take care of that. And one in particular topic that I wanna dive into is going to be the evenness of our beard. Now, for me, my hair grows at different lengths and at different speeds, just like everybody else in this world, but it's where we have to take care and even out those points in our beard. We also have to consider shape as well. For a lot of guys out there, they like to rock the rounded beard. Like me, I like more of a squared off beard. So there are different shapes to go over and actually style out but what we wanna do is we wanna keep everything even as we shape it. So as we're growing out our beards and we're styling our beards and putting in product, we have to have everything even and maintained. And to do so, we're gonna bring out a couple tools to make sure everything is where it needs to lay. Now a good example is my buddy Kendall. He's actually been rocking the beard straightening brush because his beard is so thick and uh, wavy. This is a great tool to have to manage that length and shape. So for you guys out there, make sure we've got a couple things on our list. If you haven't got anything for Christmas already, make sure to go down the link. We've got uh, clippers, we've got straighteners, products and tools, because for a great looking beard, we've gotta be on point. We've gotta have the right gear for the beard and the year. I like that. So to start, we're gonna pull out the clippers. No guard on this one. We're just gonna even things out on the beard. And to finish everything off, we're gonna pull out the beard straightener, and this is where everything's going to be blended and make everything a nice shape. So I'm gonna be using the Arbor Light Pocket. This is the cordless beard straightening brush. Be down there in the description below. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. We're gonna hit that button, let's say three times, and we'll go to that 400. So as this is heating up, let's start clipping. Now there are two or three major points where you want to start trimming and looking at where you want that beard shape to go. For me, this right here on my jawline grows very quickly. And as you can see, as I brush my finger side, this is the angle that I'm going to hit right here, as well as over here. And my chin doesn't grow as fast. So the bottom portion of my neck right here grows really fast. So this is actually longer than my chin. And that's where we're going to start trimming away. So like I said, we're going to start here on the side. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just rounding out the beard. And a cool trick and hack for the clippers, ride the top part of that clipper right where that beard is. So we're not really hacking away at the beard, but we're getting all of those fray hairs, those ones that are growing out of you know rogue position. So same thing with the other side, we're just gonna come back and we're just gonna trim up. And that's pretty much it. It's not too hard. Anybody can do this, and this is a great way to get that optimal shape and length that you want, where everything's blending together. And one last key thing is we don't want any of this popping out. And that's where a lot of people suffer, is this neck line right here. Either they go way too high, or this actually becomes too much and we get this big neck beard. So we wanna be on point when it comes to evenness okay, and the shape. So get out those clippers and just pay attention to where it's being a little bit overgrown. Now to finish everything off, we're gonna pull out that beard straightener. The Arbor Light is ready to go. We have hit 400 degrees and we're just gonna finish everything off and make everything nice and straight. One thing I love about this comb, you can ride on the skin with the bristles and not get burnt. And that's it, and look at that, that's it. We've got a nice straight beard and now we can apply beard product. We're gonna go ahead and turn off our Arbor Light straightener, let that cool down. And the last thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put in a little bit of mustache wax because as you guys can see, uh, after that mustache trim, it's getting a little awkward. And I just really want to emphasize how important it is to have a nice inventory of tools. For you guys out there that are you know full swing in the beard game, having a great pair of clippers, having a beard straightener, a rolling brush, 
wax, oil, you know, these are things that we should have in our inventory. So that way when we have a problem awry, we can use those things to alleviate it. So to wrap everything up as well, we're heading into the new year and I've got a lot of things that I want to do, hopefully within the time that I have. For you guys that don't know, I have got a new job. I'm working on the HVAC units. I recently went to New York, check this out. And within two seconds, it starts snowing. <laughs> So cool, man. In the heart of New York, just start snow. Good times. It's going on a lot. <laughs> so I've been traveling a lot. I've been working a lot. I know I've been a little stingy on the uploads, but next year we'll get back on track. I just wanted to take a couple weeks off to get the work, to get the family time in, and that way next year we can go full swing. Got a lot of good surprises for you, so definitely stay tuned, right? So like always, you guys, like and subscribe. Check me out on all that social media. Love you guys like always. Happy New Year, and I'll see you on the flip side. See ya!